welcome. I'm David Ricks. I'm a personal injury trial lawyer in Rancho Cucamonga and the principal of the Inland Empire Law Group with offices in Rancho Cucamonga in Victorville, California. I want to talk about the burden of proof in a personal injury case. The burden of proof generally in a personal injury case is what's called more likely than not or a standard where it's more likely to be true than not true. Some people equate that to 51% versus 49%, but that's really not actually accurate. The idea here is that as you present evidence to a jury, you want to convince the jury that your story, your information, your testimony, your witnesses are more likely to be believable as to the version of facts that occurred than the other side's witnesses are to be believable. If you as a plaintiff, a person who's trying to prove his or her case, is successful in convincing the jury that your position is more likely to be true than not true, then you generally should prevail in your claim. If both sides are equal so that the jury can't say that either side is, is more likely to be true than not true, then unfortunately the plaintiff will always lose in that situation or in the situation where the defense proves that their position is more likely to be true than not true, then the plaintiff is more likely, the plaintiff will lose in that situation. So going into a case, you want to make sure that your facts, your witnesses, your evidence, and the law supports your position su sufficiently well that you can convince a jury that your position is more likely to be true than not true. That is the burden of proof.